The couple of Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez is one of the most well-known couples in the football world. They are inseparable. They mutually support each other. They both had journeys full of difficulties. You already know all of this, but the couple still has a few secrets. Here are six things that you didn't know about CR7 and Georgina's relationship. Georgina's salary. We say salary, but in truth, it's more like an allowance. While they aren't married or in a civil partnership or divorced, CR7 still helps Georgina financially. Because CR7 knows Georgina is his rock, he's said it many times. She's one of the keys to his success since 2016 and the second part of his career. According to Telecinco, Cristiano may give his partner the sum of $91,000 per month. This money allows her to pay for three different costs. The education of their kids first and foremost, living costs, and finally, any personal spending. This money is not, however, indispensable to Georgina since she's a model and Instagram influencer. And Telecinco also claims she earns $11,000 per sponsored post. Georgina, the car dealer. For her man's 35th birthday, Georgina bought the most expensive gift she'd ever bought someone. She bought a car, a Mercedes Class G prepared by Brabus, a special edition of the German brand's model, of which only 10 models were made. Congratulations to the man of my life. You'll be able to transport our love in your present. Georgina spent $820,000 to buy this 900 horsepower vehicle for Cristiano, a model that goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in three to eight seconds. And naturally, the Portuguese player loved the surprise and the gift. An off-roader, which he added to an already amazing collection. CR7 has multiple Bugattis, multiple Ferraris. We're not going to list them all, otherwise we'd be here till tomorrow. CR7 made his love cry. In the last 16 of the 2019 Champions League, Juventus started off badly against Atletico Madrid after a 2-0 loss in the first leg. Back to the wall, Juventus were able to count on an exceptional Cristiano Ronaldo who scored a hat-trick, taking his team into the quarterfinals. An incredible performance that impressed the Turin club's fans, as well as football fans around the world. Okay, maybe not Ronaldo haters. A crazy performance that ended up making Georgina Rodriguez cry. Tears that were captured live on television and were broadcast around the world. Makes sense. Right before the match, Marca even claimed CR7 told his friends and his family that he was going to score a hat trick to knock Atletico Madrid out and qualify his team for the next round. True or not, he definitely told Patrice Evra on WhatsApp. It might be the fact that actions speak louder than words for Georgina. Cristiano Jr. also shed a little tear, too. Georgina is a constant support for the Juventus player. When he lost the 2019 Ballon d'Or to Lionel Messi, she wrote him a letter that she posted on Instagram. It's not the titles that best define you, even if you've won so many. What best defines you is who you are as a person, your passion, your desire to surpass yourself, your camaraderie, because you're a football and sporting inspiration for millions of people. This is how Cristiano stays motivated. Hey, all my goalers. We've noticed that around 70% of you watch our videos, but don't follow the channel. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video and your football knowledge becomes unbeatable. They work out together. Cristiano Ronaldo is an elite athlete. Georgina Rodriguez is not. However, she is athletic and likes to train. So, the Buenos Aires native takes part in CR7's workouts, even if it wasn't easy for her at first. Imagine having to train in the same space as Cristiano. I felt almost embarrassed next to him. But over time, this feeling disappeared and now I love doing exercise with him. He's become my biggest motivation and inspiration. Georgina also posts a lot of shots of her working out on Instagram which helps some people motivate themselves to work out. And for that, we say bravo! The couple plans on getting married. 
In September 2020, Georgina posted a photo wearing a huge ring on her Instagram account. And the caption on the post got people talking. Yes. According to gambling deals, this ring cost close to $850,000. This Cartier jewel could even be the most expensive ring in the world. And what if it was an engagement ring? Getting married is a real goal for the couple, and according to several tabloids, it may have already happened. Whatever the truth, in September 2019, CR7 said this about an eventual marriage. She's part of me. She's helped me so much. Of course I'm in love with her. One day we'll get married for sure. It's also my mother's dream. So one day, why not? I opened my heart to her and she opened hers to me. Even his mother dreams of a wedding between the two lovers. Maria Dolores has adopted Georgina. Hold on. When we say CR7's mother has adopted Georgina, we don't mean literally. She really loves her and already sees her as her daughter-in-law, which wasn't the case for Irina Sheik. Georgina also seems ready to get married. Of course we plan on getting married, but right now we have lots of interesting things on the go. We have to educate our children. We're really focused on them. They met at Gucci. We'll finish with their first meeting. Maybe you already know about it. CR7 and Georgina met for the first time at Gucci because she was working for the famous brand as a saleswoman. And on one day in 2016, a Real Madrid player came into the shop. His height, his body, his beauty caught my attention. He made me nervous, but a spark had been lit. I'm very shy and this maybe affected me more in front of someone who, in the blink of an eye, deeply impacted me. It was love at first sight, especially as just a few days later, they met again at an event for another high fashion brand. When fate comes knocking, there's nothing you can do. In January 2017, it was finally time for the young lovers to officialize their relationship, publicly appearing at the Ballon d'Or ceremony together. At that moment, Georgina had no idea what was to come. Paparazzi, fans, journalists, everyone wanted to know who she was. A nightmare for someone who was expecting to continue living a normal life. The situation became unbearable. People would follow me. They called my phone. Journalists came to the shop pretending to be clients. Little by little, I started working behind the counter to stifle the aggressive curiosity from the press. Harassment which forced her to quit her job at Gucci. Now a public personality, she helps Cristiano Ronaldo on a daily basis. She's one of his biggest supporters. CR7 even said this in an interview. She has an influence on the multiple Ballon d'Or's longevity at the highest level, which we as football fans all benefit from. And all we can say to that is thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.